Um, all right, so let's get into the topic of this video. Get out. Get out now. I'm being dead serious. You live in states like Oregon, Washington, California, where Arizona, the majority of your state is already owned by the federal government. I'm getting reports from longtime viewers that national parks are closed off. Um, they said, you know, we can't even go through state-owned land or federal-owned land anymore. They've got gates up. You can't go nature walking. You can't go sightseeing. You can't go camping. They don't want you on that land at all. Now, if you know anything about some of the stuff that Biden has been passing, one of his recent nonsense laws was this 30 by 30. So what they're saying is 30% of all federal owned land will go back into total conservation. Guys, federally owned land is public land. It does not mean the federal government has the right to keep off American citizens. What are they doing? What are they hiding? Why do they feel they need to not allow the tax paying American citizen on land? It makes you think, doesn't it? So if you're in a state that is majority owned by the federal government already, how are you even a state? Now, before you get upset with me and you flood me with a million comments, Sam, we can't, we have young adult children. I understand. I understand. Then continue watching this video because we're going to talk about that too. You having to lease back land from the federal government to run your cattle? No, that was great when America was uh, constitution based in a conservative nation that put the citizens first. So not so great. Now that the federal government is all totally on board with the World Economic Forum. I'm being 100%. Get the heck out of there. You're crazy. You're crazy to stay in a state that has been sold to the Chinese and the Mexican cartels because your state decided they were going to grow pot legally. And now all the water available is going to the pot growers. You know how much water marijuana takes? Do you know how much toxic fertilizer marijuana takes? That plant is a not a sustainably grown plant. Keep on, keep on voting drugs need to be legal. Keep on voting that nonsense. Why is America in the, in the situation she is? People have stepped away from the Bible. Real quick, I wanna share with you guys a couple of my favorite comments that I have received recently from my viewers. I love you guys. Some of you really see what's going on. So let's take a look at them. Number one. Number two. Number three. So I just wanted to share that. I read every single comment. Now I do get the crazies and the biblical prophecy video, I had a feeling it would go viral and I shared that there are no coincidences. I don't believe in them. I do believe that it is a sign and a wonder what's going on in the sky. I do believe God's trying to tell us something, but guys don't get your panties in a wad. Quit. There are so many crazy Christians. They're crazy. Like, you sound insane. If I was not a, a washed-in-the-blood, spirit-filled woman, I literally would be turned off of God by your comments. And I'm going to block you. Y'all sound insane. I have gotten comments like, The Mark of the Beast started three years ago. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. The Seven Thunders in Revelation. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it is not. And yes, again, I'm going to encourage you, get in shape. You should, I don't care where you live in the world, have water and food stocked up for natural disasters. Like, stop expecting other people to come save you. 
and I'm being completely serious. You are not, you're an adult. You are not somebody else's responsibility. Put some bottled water up, put some canned food up, and be prepared for anything. That's called being an adult. Secondly, yes, you should have ammunition and you should have trained dogs. In this day and age, if you weren't taking the initiative to protect your property and your physical body and your children or anybody else that's with you, then that's on you. You're making yourself look weak. Prepare for anything. I, I am so sick of God will take care of me. Let me call 911. God will take care of me. Let me call for an evac. God will take care of me. I need somebody to come get me. I got flooded in. I don't have any food and water. Stop being that way. Shame on you for putting other people's life in danger because you simply won't take five minutes to put a bug out bag together and be prepared with an exit, an exit out of the area you currently live in. So let's get back to the so, video. America stepped away from God. I can tell you more than anything because of the laws currently being passed. The laws that go against the Bible. Now, for the ones of you that aren't Christian, don't believe in a higher being, can you honestly tell me we live in a better world as we vote in laws that totally go against God? Think about it. God says, in Deuteronomy 28, I will bring you into the land that I promised your fathers and your forefathers. I will give you the land. I will bless your cattle, your sheep. They will multiply. What is under attack right now? Land ownership and farming. Why? Because they're going against the Bible. The Democrat party of today is not your daddy's party. It's not your granddaddy's party. And if you're still just so mentally retarded that you're stuck thinking you have to vote Democrat because that's what your parents voted, the old Democrat party was a Bible-thumping party, okay? The current Democrat party is the slave owner party. Mm -hmm. They want women to vote. They really started getting out of way about 70 years ago, who they really were came out. The Democrat Party has always been the party of slavery, the party of um, government handouts, the party of keeping people dependent on the government versus independence. The Democrat Party is about breaking apart family values. It is attacking the morals of a country. Now, you might be Democrat going, no, it's not. No, no, Sam, you're wrong, woman. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Look at the laws the Democrat Party passes. Look at it. Look at Oregon. Look at California. Look at Colorado and New York. Your cities are falling apart. Look at New Orleans, Democrat, Chocolate City. Literally the scummiest, dirtiest, most dangerous place you can go. Why? It's Democrat, Brian. If your policies worked, your cities would show it. You're so afraid to admit that your party has failed, you're willing to die with it. But here's the problem with that mentality. You're killing the rest of us. You giving up your rights is your business, but you don't have my permission. You don't have my permission to give up my rights. So I come against you and your party. And I'm asking my, my Father in Heaven right now to create confusion in the enemy's camps. I pray that you devour each other. I pray that your funding cease. I pray that people...
people stand against you. That you get wrapped up in conservative courts all across America. I pray that light gets shown into the darkness and all of your dirty little secrets come forth. In the holy name of Jesus, I pray it and I give my God praise for it as we sit back and we laugh like our Heavenly Father does, sitting in heaven and laughing because you cannot win. You will not win. So if you are in those cities, for the love of Jesus, get out. Oh, there he is. Get out. Get out. Get out now. Get out tomorrow. Sell your property. Come to conservative areas and build your life with like-minded people. You can't win as a, minor as a minority conservative in places like California, Utah, Nevada, Oregon. You're surrounded by crazy. Leave it. Leave it. Take what you can. Cut your losses. Come to conservative communities and help us build safe places for our families. It's time we group together. Brothers and sisters, it is time we group together. God bless you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to support what we do here at Storky Forestead, please consider dropping something in our Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. Say hello, Steve. Oh, he said, do not adjust your televisions. That was the newest member of the San Francisco Election Commission speaking in her native tongue. She is not a U.S. citizen yet. She is a Chinese citizen on the Election Commission in San Francisco, a commission which oversees local, state, and federal elections. Uh, and with that, uh, we bring in John Dennis, who's chair of the Republican Party uh, in San Francisco. John, uh, I, I thought you could help us understand this because I went through just to understand that this wasn't sort of a, a ceremonial role or an advisory role. The San Francisco.gov website, the election commissions, we oversee all public elections in San Francisco. So is, are we to understand that San Francisco has appointed uh, a, a national citizen of another country, one of our geopolitical enemies, to oversee elections there? Yeah, and in a shocking turn of events, simple? they didn't... Yeah, in shocking turn of events, they didn't invite a Republican to be on the election commission. There were no, there were no other non-citizens who could fill that role. No fair-minded person thinks that this is a, this is a reasonable thing.